Hey there Capricorn, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for August 28th through to September the 3rd. Let's jump in and see what's on the cards for you. But before we do, if you wouldn't mind um, hitting that like button and thinking about leaving me a comment and please do subscribe if you want to see more of these free tarot readings stay around. It's all engagement based here on YouTube with how far these videos go. So if we don't get that engagement, um, you know, pretty much it's unsustainable. So that would be amazing. If you would like a personal reading or healing at any time the first link down below will take you to my website where you can check those out i have a freebie as well i'm showing it here it's my free learn tarot quick guide if you'd like to get started interpreting the cards for yourself or to dive deeper into tarot i have a more immersive course called the initiation where i teach a full foundation in tarot and my personal uh, professional reading process as well so you'll learn that one uh, you can also find the link down there for joining my karmic community, which is my free email newsletter and come across to Instagram if you're interested in daily content. I'm super active over there. Okay, announcements done Capricorn. Let's jump in. I'm starting your reading with an oracle card and I have luck is on your side. New Moon in Sagittarius. So maybe you're wanting to move towards a new beginning or a new door is opening or a new opportunity may have presented itself or maybe you're wanting to call one in. Now it feels like luck is on your side. It feels like a Wheel of Fortune vibe where it actually is in our best interest to move ahead towards that new start, okay? Sagittarian energy coming through, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the Sagittarian energy asks you Capricorn to look at the big picture here. There's a new doorway opening. Yes, uh, it can be scary, you know, embracing change or moving to the new, but the payoff, imagine the payoff, you know, that new energy, new potential, new opportunities. All right, Cappy, let's jump in uh, to your Major Arcana card. So I've got just the 22 Major Arcana here, which are the big themes, big life lessons in the tarot, and you are journeying the Emperor Aries energy. Okay, this asks you to step up and lead this change, okay? As the Emperor and to embody this energy, you are being asked to take control, to orchestrate this, to make calculated moves. And the Aries energy is a lot to do with leaps of faith, right? The Fool, think the Fool as well as an Aries energy. The Magician kind of links to Aries as well. It's like taking action, but sometimes we have to take a calculated chance here as well, or a calculated faith leap. Now, with the Emperor coming through, this could be in wanting to extend your work career, like climb the ladder or apply for a job that might feel a little bit out of your reach, but you know, it really lights you up. Could be in an entrepreneurial journey or really trying to lay the foundation in terms of security and success. I won't rule out love quite yet until I see the cards, but if so, you might be dealing with an emperor, okay? Maybe somebody who is solid, somebody who, you know, is, is uh, well established and would make a really good, you know, partner to commit to. Let's see where this is going, Capricorn. I'm going to draw you four cards from the Rider Waite. We will clarify as we go with the Moon, well, the Star Child Tower actually today. Okay, situational energy. Knight of Swords coming through. That is a Gemini energy for me. And you know what? It's fast movement. It's things moving quickly. Nine of Cups is in your challenge uh, energy. Your advice, Capricorn, in this situation is the Ace of Swords. You know, the Aces are new beginnings. And it's basically saying, look, this is your breakthrough. And it's time to step through that door. Your outcome, I told you. <laughs> Wheel of that is so interesting, Capricorn. I told you I was feeling Wheel of Fortune vibes. I also have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which, um, you know, is that calculated chance, right? Oh, and the full. You cannot make this up. So... Yeah, I feel like we have a divinely guided kind of faith leap or chance here on something new. Now, luck is on your side. The Wheel of Fortune is here with the Page of Cups. Although this might have been sort of unexpected or come out of the blue, like this is definitely leading you to your next significant cycle. Okay, in your situation energy, I've got two knights here. I've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Now, these could also actually indicate two different pathways, right? We've got sort of the practical, slow, stable, steady kind of earthy path. And we've got this kind of quick moving, inspirational, 
you know, maybe you've had an idea and you're really wanting to move quickly with it. So maybe you're sort of being asked, well, look, sometimes we need to take a chance on the one that does seem less traditional if it really excites you here and it feels like it is meant to be. Maybe we need to use a combination of these energies because it feels like things are going to move quickly. So just make sure you are well prepared and you do have a plan in place and you are organized as well. That's what I'm seeing here. We've got Virgo energy, we have Gemini energy. So, you know, there's an opportunity coming. Maybe that door has already opened for you and, you know, you're being asked, okay, let's move towards this, but let's pace ourselves, okay? Yes, it's going to move quickly, but can we sort of be organized and hit the milestones within this? Luck is on your side. And I feel with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like, that wheel is always turning anyway. You know, whether we catch a ride with it and say yes to it is up to us. And yes, we can miss energy and miss potential. Often if it's meant for us, we'll you know, get another chance at it later. Um, but then maybe we've you know, just you know, elapsed more time when we could have been moving towards this potential in the first place. Okay, so Nine of Cups is in your challenge position. And it now comes through with the King of Wands, Leo Energy here. Like we've just moved out of Leo season and this was the season really to follow big calls of the heart. Okay, we went through Lion's Gate on the 8th of the 8th, which is a huge activation of this energy. So I feel for most of you, this opportunity may have started presenting, um, you know, in August, maybe a little bit earlier here. And really, you might have been, maybe those two energies that kind of slow and quick with the two nights. It's a, when one moment you're in, this mind where you want to move quickly towards it and then the the practical kind of analytical kicks in and you go no you know we should slow it down we should maybe stay where we are we should stay grounded this is more solid so there might have been a kind of a, a dual mind situation here in your decision making process ultimately the king of wands is like if you use discernment right if this feels lined up for you if this feels like you're passionate about it, right? Whether it's a, a love or a, a person or you know a place that you're moving towards. If you feel like this has got growth, has got potential, aligns with your values, your future vision, then the King of Wands moves towards it, right? Because the King of Wands is this discretionary eye, this visionary energy to be able to discern, yes, I think this can go somewhere. I'm going to move towards it. And Spirit is saying, you know, this... King of Wands is looking up at this Nine of Cups. Spirit is saying, this can actually be a wish fulfilled, right? If you go about this the right way, because the Nine of Cups is a great card of happiness and contentment and satisfaction. We see the new moon here as well. So luck is in your side and moving towards new energy here that you discern is in alignment with your future vision and feels like it can take you places. It can take you to the next level, right? A new level in your career, a new level of maturity, a new level in relationships. That's what we have here. Okay. The advice is the Ace of Swords. And that's to accept this breakthrough moment, right? To accept this breakthrough. It is you getting clear. It's getting clear on what you want to do here. It comes through with the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is really saying, yeah, you can invest in this. And it actually will become your solid, your stable, and it will grow and flourish and give you those results. And this is the entry point to that. So that's a victory energy. It's very much a victory energy. Now, with the Page of Cups at the end of the reading in the Wheel of Fortune, which we're kind of getting on to next, I just want to say that the, the Page of Cups is quite often an out of the blue energy. Like you may or may not have seen this coming, right? And it may also be a situation or person who is different to what you thought you were calling in or expected. And we have to trust that the universe knows what we truly need for our best and highest good. The Page of Cups for me is sometimes like a startup business or something really creative where you have an opportunity to come in as a leader, right? Where maybe you wouldn't, wouldn't have if this was more of a traditional established setting, right? And you've got to choose, but it seems less stable, but this is a great opportunity. It's someone here who might be different from your usual type or the opportunity is different. But the Queen of Pentacles in the advice says, 
don't let that put you off because this can be stable this is in its growth phase but it also feels solid and it also feels secure maybe this is how you get to the true win that you are looking for and remember luck is on your side whoa okay let's get your clarifier for the wheel of fortune they are going everywhere Okay, what is it in the outcome of this reading? Oh my goodness, you will not believe this. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune clarified with, if you want to have a guess, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Double wafts, my goodness. And judgment, which is called awakening, is at the bottom of the deck. So this is powerful, profound change. I don't know if I've ever actually seen uh, Wheel of Fortune clarified with the Wheel of Fortune in a reading before. But when I, this energy comes in, like this is such a significant shift that's going to lead you into your next profound cycle, maybe a 10 year cycle. You might actually be leaving one 10 year cycle and entering into another. And we've got a little bit of uh, fated events or divine intervention or destiny here. Like this is a major destiny aligning in this moment. But of course, because you have free will Capricorn, you can still say no, or you can still miss this, but you do not want to. So luck is on your side. You have a unique opportunity to level up, to go to the next level, to maybe start an entrepreneurial business, to lead the charge, to lay a foundation here. Um, but of course we need to discern that this is a great opportunity and invest in it and go for it. And if you do, I just don't think that you'll be disappointed at all, Capricorn. So I'm going to leave it there and um, very exciting energy. If you would like a personal reading to tune in specifically to your circumstances, first link down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and please do hit subscribe. It makes all the difference to these readings sticking around. And do come across to Instagram if you're interested in daily content, daily readings from me. I'd love to have you with me. Just wishing you all the love and magic, Capricorn. Do take care. Bye for now.